What's up guys? Welcome to what has basically been my classroom for the past year. Today I wanted to do an experiment that I saw floating around on social media. Currently in the United States, we've been experiencing record cold. People are without power, without water. And this particular picture was supposed to help out in situations like that. So let's take a look at what I'm gonna do. So let's take a quick, quick tour of the very tiny classroom I have. So this is what I see when I'm behind the camera to my students. I got my TV right here, turtle tank, fish tank, midnight the bat. We've got my snake rack, mirror where I make sure I look good. And that's pretty much it. Here is the materials we'll be using for our experiment. There's my little assistant there, by the way. So I have a candle, a couple of bricks, a place to place the candle, and a clay flower pot. What do you think I'm gonna do? So here's the basic setup for this experiment. So I'm gonna light this candle and I'm gonna place the clay pot over the candle. The candle will heat up the clay pot and in turn, the clay pot will radiate the heat throughout the room, warming up the room. So one thing I have to do is measure the change in temperature of the room. Here's how I'm going to do that. On my desk over here, I have sitting a brick. I have a digital thermometer. And this works by pointing it at the brick, pressing the button, and you'll see a laser shoot out, and it'll give us a temperature of that object. So the brick currently is 67.3 degrees Fahrenheit. I am going to set this up, let it run for three hours, and check the brick again and see if there was a change. So let's go ahead and set this up right now. Now flame needs oxygen to survive. And I believe with the hole on top of the pot and the airflow from the bottom, that should feed enough oxygen for that flame to continue going for the three hours. Take a look at this. Can't see the flame from there, maybe from the top here. Yeah, we see the flame flickering. Let's just do a quick test of the temperature of the pot right now. So the pot is at 68.8. We're gonna let it run for three hours. Now the thing that we're gonna test is the brick, the brick on my desk. This pot obviously will get warmer, but will the temperature of the brick be affected? We're gonna find out. Okay, so I set my watch for three hours. It's currently 9.40, so I'm probably gonna be asleep when this goes off. But what I'll do is I'll come back in the room I'll measure the temperature of the brick and we'll see if there's a temperature change. According to the post that's been floating around, the room temperature should warm up. The clay pot obviously will warm up. It's pretty close to the flame. But let's see if just one single candle can heat up an entire room and make it habitable for a human in freezing temperatures. Okay, I'll see you guys in three hours. At this point, I turned off all lights in the classroom and closed the door. I also turned off the heater to my house, which I set pretty low anyway at 61 degrees Fahrenheit, but it will probably get lower than that because I want to eliminate all factors that will contribute heat to this experiment.
it's tough being woken up like two in the morning just now. I did tack on an extra hour just because I felt like that would give it an opportunity to get a little bit colder in this room. Now I gotta say, first impressions, I walked in the room and I got hit with a little bit of a wave of it being a little bit warmer than what it was outside in the hallway. So let's check out the temperatures and see if we can come up to a conclusion. You know, I was thinking that this was gonna be hot to the touch, but it's not at all. I mean, it's slightly warmer than what the room is, but certainly not something that's uncomfortable. So let's check out the temperature of the pot. 78.3. So it did raise up a little bit. Now the conclusive test will be the brick that I placed over here. And there it is. Definitely got cooler than what it was last night or a few hours ago. So I'm gonna head back to bed and I'll talk more about it later on. Good night, y'all. Good morning. I hope you enjoyed that experiment. I do live in San Diego, so it does not get too cold, but you know, 60 is cold for us San Diegans. Give me a comment below if you got any suggestions on what I can do to improve this experiment. Otherwise, be safe. Take care guys, see you later.